Hey guys, so I've been working on a project for actually it's almost a year now. I kind of pick it up and set it down every so often, but I figured I'd share the project and see if anybody else is interested in it. It's a marine navigation system um, housed inside a Apache case, which is like an off-brand Pelican case. And what I did was I used acrylic glass um, for the screen to protect the screen. So it's, I cut out a hole in it, inserted the screen and put um, acrylic glass uh, between <clears throat> from the front side and the back side of the screen to protect it. <clears throat> it's gonna be sealed once I'm fully um, completed with all of the modifications I'm making to it. And yeah, so I'll just dive into the project in general and I'll go system by system. So what I did was I used uh, some metal, sheet metal to make some brackets. So what you see here is, uh, here's the acrylic glass that sandwiches the screen. There's a bracket here, which holds the video card for the screen. And then you see the brain of the system, the Raspberry Pi mounted here which is connected to the screen with a, a very short HDMI cable. And I've tried to manage the cables as best as I can within the small space. I've added an HD uh, USB hub here on the side to continue to add components um, as I continue to modify the, the project. <clears throat> the project's GPS is a just a USB GPS the model is already old. They've come out with newer ones, but it's the BU-353. <clears throat> of also making the system so that it houses an inner, uh, it houses its own battery pack. And that'll be a 12 volt battery pack. And I have this controller that I'm gonna be adding to the system as well, which when the system is plugged in, it'll be charging the battery pack. And when it's disconnected, it will be running off of the 12 volt battery pack. So for the power input, you can see here is a waterproof connection to 12 volt system. And I have a converter here that converts from 12 volt to five volt. You can kind of see it underneath the power component, the power button. So yeah, um, this will convert it to five volt and everything runs off of five volts except the, um, the screen. So, I've also created this setup to receive weather facts. So this will have, a, this is the radio receiver and I can receive the weather facts with the setup. This also helps uh, in that process. It up converts the, the signal. So rece receiving weather facts was one of the priorities for me with the system so that I could overlay those weather facts reports over the GPS where I'm currently navigating. Um, and I've also made it so that there's gonna be an SMA plug input for the antenna. Um, another idea which I implemented here for the <clears throat> weather facts is mic in. Um, the setup has and can receive the mic in through this USB into the Raspberry Pi so that you can use an SSB radio to receive weather facts and then plug it directly into the computer and receive uh, with two different ways. So you'll have a, a receiver such as this one, but you'll also have the ability to use an SSB as a backup. Um, I also plan on adding AIS in the future. Ship tracking, um, that's gonna be built in here and plugged into this USB hub, so. Yeah, that basically covers the majority of the project. Um, I guess I should also talk about like, why would I do this when you can just buy a system that has all of that. Um, the main reasons for me to build uh, a marine navigation such as this was that it would be modular. It's cheap to build and it's cheap to maintain. So for instance, just about every single part or component of this system is worth less than $50. So I could have backups on board and if any part failed, I could also um, <clears throat> just switch it out with relative ease. Uh, that was the main uh, reason to, to make this build. 
the idea that I could also put it on any boat so I could just take it with me pretty easily and, and, and have it um, have all of those features. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, those are two of the biggest reasons for doing this. And I guess I'm putting it out there just to see if anybody else is interested because I can go and make an in-depth video on how to build and what components I use, the list of components, um, where I bought those components and how much it all cost total and in each individual part. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And if you are interested in a video about this with in-depth explanations and kind of how to build it out, if you're interested in doing that yourself, uh, just hit the like button or comment down below and I'll, and I'll start working on an actual build video. So, um, yep. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys.